Okay, hey guys, it's Sam back again. It's been a long time I've been on this channel, but um, I'm back now. I just had a lot of exams and things like that. Um, speaking of exams, um, I know exams are almost over, or some people still have exams going on, um, but I just wanted to make a quick video about um, surviving exam season essentially. Okay. So what I did for this video was I went into the Alan Gilbert Learning Commons which is essentially just a place where we study in Manchester um, or it's called the LG some it's called the LG sometimes um, and I just went in there just with my camera and just asked some of my friends what they how they were going through exams. So I asked them two questions. So the first question was um, how did we find the exam season so far and what was the hardest part of exam season for them? Um, and then I also asked them uh, what was their top advice for exam season, for surviving exam season. So hopefully this video is really helpful um, so you can find what they say um, really helpful for you um, if you still have exams. I think the hardest part of exam season has been keeping a consistent schedule. So it's it's not just getting the hours in, but getting the hours in consistently has been kind of a struggle. So I might do eight hours today or eight hours tomorrow, but my timetable will be this messed up as my sleeping pattern, actually. So that's probably the hardest part, trying to control all of that. Probably the thing that's hardest this year is staying motivated. Just because it's been so long, we've had exams for about, what, three, four months in a row? Um, so, and doing placement at the same time. So staying motivated the whole way through. Where do I begin? <laughs> Actually studying, waking up, lack of sleep, the coursework itself, it's, I hate my life. <laughs> Probably staying motivated. The amount of work I had to cram in my tiny brain, um, stress, lack of sleep, lack of food. I mean, do you want me to continue? The hardest part of that exam season <laughs> was cramming information. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of content to get through. Um, admittedly, sorry mum, sorry dad, I didn't attend the majority of my lectures. <laughs> so <laughs> I was learning and revising at the same time. But that was the hardest bit of that exam period. I think staying motivated, because mm. there have been so many moments where it's been like, I just can't be bothered to continue and is it all worth it? Mm. But you just have to, you just have to keep going. I think self-care in terms of like, you think of exams and obviously like they determine a large part of your degree and what you're doing. So I think it's very easy to see that as the priority and forget to look after yourself. So stuff like a lot of students will stay up late or like not get enough sleep or not like eat enough and just basic things that you would usually do or wouldn't think about in order to take care of yourself, you kind of forget that. So I think trying to still like remain mentally and physically healthy while getting everything done and also realising that you can't get everything done. I think you think, oh, I've got exams, I need to know everything, when actually sometimes it's better to be healthy and like know what you know and going confidently. Uh, just dealing with the exam stress. Really? How stressful is it, would you say? Uh, quite stressful in second year, yeah when it counts. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's more the stress in the revising. It's more like, like when I revise sometimes, when I like skip certain things in my head, I can envision the, being in the exam and then I'll be like, that will be the question that comes up and then it kind of scares me a bit. And like thinking about results day and stuff like that more than the actual revising. So I think like more like the emotional aspects that comes with exam season. Um, probably embarrassing. I have like six exams, so. By sit out my revision, I think it's the hardest part. These are things that I learned this year. Probably, I, well, medics do this, I'm sure other courses do this as well, where you end up taking on a lot of responsibilities for things that aren't necessarily going to benefit you that much in the long run. So you need to be wise about what you choose to spend your time on because it's precious, um, especially in exam season. And in terms of staying motivated, I think 
because for this year it's been so long, I think the best thing I can suggest is scheduling in things that are fun to do through exam season um, and then making sure you work around it and work towards it um, and also changing the location of where you're studying throughout the day because I used to just stay in one place like here or in the library for like 12 to 15 hours just working and you lose focus very quickly. So the best thing to do I've found is like pick up a few topics to do in one location, make sure you get it done by a certain time then move somewhere else and do some more. And at least in the transition you're resting for a bit. It's a case of, I think, one of the best things is start small and start early, definitely. And also in the middle of, you know, getting to grips with, get memorizing and Drowning in the content, don't forget about the style of the exam you're taking and the questions and what they're looking for. So give yourself enough time, but also make sure you don't just you forget you don't forget about the style, the expectations of the examiners. I'd say, personally I'd say um, it's better to start early on. Because I feel like if you actively start earlier, so like for example, if you're in uni, when you have your lectures and stuff, after your lectures, actually go through the information. Because then if you keep doing that over time, it will be easier for you to remember it compared to like when you're in exam season, you're just trying to cram everything in. But then I also think that um, it's important to work smart and not just hard. So um, examples of doing that in my course is um, one of the things that my friend, one of the things that my friend suggested is that um, obviously we do pharmacy so we have to learn about a lot of different drugs and their side effects and stuff like that so what she said was um, you should try and learn the things like in order of body systems so like obviously how each drug will affect for example the heart or the lungs and stuff like that um, and yeah I'd also say like revising with your friends not just like don't just go to library and obviously talk but like after you've revised like privately then you can like do questions together and then that will help you like you no know, find out what you actually know and what you need to revise a bit more on before your exam. My best advice is um, before the build up to exams, um, try to figure out what kind of what kind of revision style suits you. Mm -hmm. um, for some people it's cramming, for some people it's taking notes, um, for some people just reading, reading, reading course material over and over again. So find exam style still suitable for you and then implement that style, um, um, you know, during that, or in, in the running to your exams and then you should, you should be fine. My advice would be definitely make friends in your course. It's very important that you have people that you can work together with and also plan your revision months in advance. Like, months in advance so you are so come exam season you just just don't have people distracting you people that have their one one exams and then they're just out here in the library <laughs> for fun basically we're gonna take it seriously guys just don't cram everything to the final day like i did because <laughs> don't go too well i mean what this is probably like my 10th exam season now and you still did don't get used to it so, um, I don't know, I can't tell you to get used to it, but like you'll get through it, you'll get through it again, you know what I mean? Um, and also, you are good enough, like deep how much you actually know, if you've prepared, if you've studied, even if you haven't studied, like the exam will come and it will go, like you just, just do it. I think you have to like find a balance and realise that like your life isn't just about exams. So like all the things you would have done before, like sport or I don't know, like pottery or I don't know, whatever like hobbies <laughs> you have because I think there's a tendency when you get to exam season that all of a sudden that's when you have to do the work and that's when like everything else has to stop and like your value as a person is just equal to that of your grades. When actually like you need to realise it's just as important to do the things that you enjoy as well because there's more to like your life than there than exams and grades I think. Mm. I think like for me what's really helped is to see my friends. I know that sounds like <laughs> cheesy and whatever but like I feel like whenever I've like been really really stressed and stuff like like seeing you guys and stuff it's just mm. it's really like <laughs> lifted my mood and like reminded me that you can get through it and it's not that deep like it's fine like it all works out in the end so that's my piece of advice. Read from the first day you get into UD. Do not follow people like him that party every day. It's, listen, or better yet, don't take a bench. Do something else. Start rapping. If actually, I'm going to drop out and start rapping soon. 
that's really the, that's really my plan. You think I'm joking? When, when I leave, it's I just want to show up for like the Mad Lab exam. You hear OT Ken. <laughs> my time is coming. <laughs> People are laughing. I'm, I'm very serious. I have my lyrics down. My name is John. And what do you say? <laughs> I study history. And he comes. Do you like this video? What do you mean? Are you gonna edit this out? Mm, I wish they were over. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. <laughs> so, Janet, um, hot mess next week? Of course. <laughs> I'm not using my airpods. Ask. Okay, hello. Hi. And um, what's your name? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just sorry. That, that. Hi. <laughs> Stop. Let me be serious. Sorry. Goodness sake. Sorry, go again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what's your name? Hi. 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 Hi.